Charges now dropped against a man accused of shooting a Clayton County police officer just hours ago. Police revealing that multiple witnesses mistakenly identified him as the suspect. And while we're only learning of this today, police have apparently known of their error for days, but hadn't said anything to the media until now. Joe Hinky live for us in Clayton County after speaking to this man's girlfriend, who's calling this a case of racial profiling, Joe. Well, that's right, Jennifer, and the shooting happened back on March 2nd outside the Food Mart in the shopping center behind me. At the time, Clayton County Police quickly identified Arterio Crumbly as the suspect they believed was the gunman from that shooting. He turned himself in after a wanted poster with his face was put out back on March 2nd, but as he turned himself in, he said he was innocent. The charges against him have now been dropped, but he's still fighting to get out of jail. They just put it together so quickly and ran with it instead of actually investigating. Arturio Crumbly's girlfriend, Sayla Bedford, says her boyfriend was 10 miles away from the shooting along Riverdale Road back on March 2nd. Police initially releasing this picture of a suspect in yellow, saying he robbed a man and then shot him, and Clayton County Officer Ryan Ritchie as Ritchie responded. Soon after, police identified Crumbly as that suspect, putting his name and photo on a wanted poster. I, I'd never seen it. He, he really, really broke down. I mean, mentally, emotionally, physically, he just didn't know what to do. Like, it literally felt like a scene off of a movie. This afternoon, Clayton County Police described how Crumbly was wrongfully identified as a suspect, but offered few specifics. Multiple eyewitnesses and the victim were located and interviewed. As a result of those interviews, Arterio Lorente Crumbly was identified as a suspect. Bedford said Crumbly's family told him to turn himself in to clear his name, and he did. He turned himself in. Mr. Crumbly proclaimed his, his innocence and provided an alibi as to his whereabouts during the shooting. As the investigation continued, the actual suspect became known, and detectives were able to verify Mr. Crumley's alibi. Bedford says police used warrants to access Crumley's cell phone data and learned he was at his home in Fayetteville during the shooting. The warrants for his arrest were dropped on March 16th, according to police. Court records show Crumley is being held on an unrelated probation violation charge, but Sala says Clayton County courts have not cleared the charges related to the shooting, delaying him from possibly being released. I feel like there's a lot of blatant disrespect in nonchalant, not caring about the situation. And as for that suspect in yellow, police still believe that was the person who shot the man and officer Ryan Ritchie back on March 2nd. Police late this afternoon identified that person now as being a 17 year old named Charles Jacoby Santana Payne. Police tonight are asking for any information on his whereabouts as they are still searching for him as off as far as officer Ryan Ritchie. We are told he's made a full recovery and is back on work uh, back on full duty at the Clayton County Police Department. We'll send it back to you in studio. All right. That is some good news there, Joe. Thank you.